let me rank the A-League managers because I said I'll do this up this episode, so I'll do it. Now, I'm doing this in a tier maker format. So obviously those you will know that that you will know what a tier maker is. So I've got five tiers. Bottom tier, MPL, standard. Second bottom tier, second bottom tier, Gold Coast United or North Queensland Fury, depending on. Middle tier, yeah, he's eight. Yeah, he's all right. Yeah, he's eight. Like, yeah, standard, A-leg level, nothing too special. B, or B, second highest is solid. Solid, solid manager. And then the highest is um, too good for the league. Too good for the league. Now, I've got, yeah, should I go bottom to top or Let's go bottom to top. Now, in NPL, I've got two managers. I've got Richard Garcia from Perth Glory and Warren Moon from the Brisbane Raw. Now, I think that's very harsh on Moon especially because I don't think his squad is necessarily that good. But I don't think he's... I just... Yeah. I Again, I sh- I'm struggling to make in-depth comments about these managers because again the apathy I feel to this league has never been higher so I'm just going off gut gut instinct and just being like yeah he, he seems like he goes there um, and Richard Garcia obviously Perth have been shit so far this season they have a very they have some talented players and yet I don't know they just haven't found it um, Gold Coast United Mark Rudan <laughs> maybe he should be an NPL if we're doing a person's test, he he won't even be on the list. But we're doing based on managerial ability. If we'll go Gold Coast United. I think he just scrapes up into that level, into that category. Um, we've got Yeh's eight. So we got we'll go in no particular order. Ante Milicic, John Aloisi, Steve Karaka, Yufik Talai. You think you fuck to lie? You think not? Definitely not that. You think to lie, and um, the Adelaide United manager has escaped me for God's sake. What's his name? Calvert. Now, um, I think Adelaide have played. Actually, that's really harsh on Adelaide. They're like third, aren't they? Let me just double check the letter because I, I make I made this last night at, at while I was watching the Chelsea game, so I wasn't exactly thinking too straight. No, nah, that's very stiff on, on Carver. He, he he goes up one. And even John Aloisi. The only reason I put John Aloisi and Steve Corica there, who probably deserve to be higher up, is because I don't like them. So, I mean, it's my list. I don't like Steve Corica and I don't like John Aloisi, so I'm not giving them anything more than, yeah, he's eight. So, again, it's my list. So, if you're angry at it, I don't know, tweet me. That, that always goes down well. Um, and then, you fix a lie... I just think he's a. I just think he's a league level. And Ante Milicic has MacArthur playing very, very well. Ante Milicic is weird because your your appreciation of him is dependent on your tolerance for his very subdued style of football. And I really don't like his very very subdued style of football. So I just think he's yeah he's eight. Um, in solid, and I think. There's one pick which is very biased in this. In Yay Solid, I've got Nick Montgomery. I've got... Wait, why do I have him there? Hold on. Sorry. Um, sorry, I'm, I'm like... I'm, I'm just completely... Um, yeah, no, Nick Montgomery's not there. I don't know why he's there. He's in... Bottom of Yeh's eye. Because I think he's got a future. I think he's got potential. Bottom of Yeh's eye, Nick Montgomery. So, yeah. So, Nick Montgomery, Ante Milicic, Steve Karaka, Yufik Talai, and John Aloisi in Yeh's eye. In solid, I've got Calvert, as I said, and Arthur Pappas. <laughs> now, now, obviously, Newcastle probably aren't going to make finals, but I feel like I have to represent the Greek, the Greek community. So... 
Um, and also he might manage Grace one day, and I would like to see that. So yes, Arthur Pappas is a solid manager. And once again, it's my list. So if you don't like it, I don't care. And yeah, like I said, Calvert. And then for two good for the league, Patrick Isnorbo and Tony Popovich. I think Popper is too good for the... I, it's weird because I don't think Popper is solid, but I don't think he's better than the league. I think the A-League is his level. But I'll tell you what it is. I think the A-League is his level. He just needs to find a league and a club that is similar le- level to the A-League that he can propel. Because he's been to Europe, he's been overseas, and he hasn't performed that well. But I think he's just too good for the league. But he just hasn't shown it. So that's something. Sort of anyway, that's probably biased speaking. But like once again, I don't care about your opinion. <laughs> obviously, that's a joke. But that's what I think. And then Patrick Kuznorbo obviously won the league last year. Top of the league as it stands. And obviously was linked with the Sunderland job. I think that would have been a catastrophe if he got it. I think it was too early for him. But I think he does have potential to surpass the A-League managerial level. Um, so yeah, so just uh, from the top, or from the bottom even, Richie Garcia and Warren Moon at MPL level, probably a bit harsh, maybe, um, Mark Rudan at Gold Coast United, Nick Montgomery, Yufik Talai, Steve Corica, Ante Milicic, John Aloisi at Yeah He's Eight, um, actually Ante Milicic, that's very stiff, he did do well with them, he did do well with the Matildas as well, fuck, um, okay, there's there's one more level in between, for me, there's one more level, so in between solid and yeah, he's eight, is Ante Milicic, and that's where his level is, so Ante Milicic is in between solid and yeah, he's eight, um, so yeah, so Nick Montgomery, Hugh Victor Lai, Steve Corica, John Aloisi in yeah, he's eight, we have Ante Milicic in the Ante Milicic tier, you have Arthur Pappas and Carver, um, in solid, and then Tony Popovich and Patrick Isnorbo too good for the league. There you go. That's that's my that that will probably change by the end of the season, and will probably definitely change by the start of next season. Um, I'll leave a link to the tier list in the description of this of this um fucking podcast on YouTube, <laughs> and if this goes up as a clip. I'll leave a link to it on Twitter and on the YouTube clip as well. I'll say, um, but yeah, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that. Although I'll probably change it, but who cares? Um, so fuck, we're taking over fifty minutes here. Aren't we?